up guys back for another one here not the most exciting video but uh, made a little video yesterday figured I'd make one today I should be um, picking up my motor right now in my head but they're behind schedule um, I thought it was kind of weird that they'd be able to get it done in two weeks anyway so um, you said for sure next week 100% so this gives me time and the motivation to start opening up these boxes here that have I have all these what, four bins here full of parts and just about everything needs clean so I'm gonna pull stuff out box by box sit here with razors and brake clean and whatever else I need to uh, clean everything up one thing is looking fresh on the motor of course all like the nasty gasket stuff and oil and coolant all over everything so we're gonna clean things up as much as we can and uh, yeah, should be a fun afternoon here. <laughs> All right, here, let's open the tops on these boxes. Um, all types of stuff here. Upper oil pan, oil pan, some accessories. Um, yeah, that, the other side of this thing is really gonna need clean. This will be fun getting all the gasket stuff out. I need to grab some picks. No, probably clean up the turbo a little bit, but it's relatively pretty clean. Um, this might need cleaned up ever so slightly. I think I got new seals for that to throw in. New gaskets for everything. What's under here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The cams are under there and the um, cam cover. So we'll have fun here cleaning things up. Well, I don't have the most solid of plans here. I'm sitting on my trailer. I got a little table out here some cleaning supplies um, I had to move the cars because I didn't want to get brake clean all over the paint and stuff so I'm just gonna blare some music show you guys maybe some befores and afters take some pictures see how well I can especially in that ugh, see how well I can clean this thing up here we go Well, this is taking way longer than I expected to do. I mean, this this pan was pretty dirty and I had to get all the gasket material out of it, but it looks really good now. Three cans of brake clean will do that. <laughs> and some uh, good old elbow grease, but she's real nice. That one's done. That's, I think that one right there is gonna be one of the worst because it actually has like sealant that you gotta dig out of the grooves. Um, the next one up is gonna be this cam cover and it's probably gonna be Almost just as bad. This one's like nasty, nasty. Really needs some love, and this has gasket material too. So, uh, I'll get these two done, get this done, maybe call it a day there. I had to move the desk or the table over out into the sun. It's like barely 50 degrees out, but in the sun it's decent. So, man, my lisp is getting bad with these. I got put my third set of braces in last night, so they're like really tight. My tongue's not used to the things so please don't make fun of me <laughs> but uh on the next one i'm not gonna time lapse this one i'll just show you what it looks like when it's done because it's just kind of boring but it's got to get done i'm like i got the motivation again to start doing things and last the last two weeks it was pretty freaking cold so these next couple warm days i'll be out here wrenching and there's some like what's it exhaust gas cooler tube thing on the on her diesel and she wants to pull off and clean we're gonna Put that in a bucket of fuel to try and break up all the soot. And we, she was, get, she got a check engine light on the way back from us buying it, and we were like, great. We ran the codes, whatever, whatever. She did some research. We pull out the map sensor, and the whole thing's caked. Like there was no airflow going through that thing. It was just totally caked in soot. So she wants to pull some, some parts off and clean them up. So, a whole lot of cleaning going on this weekend, I guess. Anyway, back to work. Well. After like four more bottles of brake clean, stabbing myself in my finger and my thumb, good amount of blood, the valve cover and cam bridge is done, or uh, cam cover, whatever you want to call it, valve cover. Um, get out of the sun here, nice and clean. Left a bunch of kind of like marks on it from the brushes, but I think I'm going to get this powder coated. Might do yellow. I might do this yellow and a trans yellow with yellow calipers. You got a little roll cage when I get a roll cage eventually, but 
these are nice and cleaned up there ain't really too too much more that's going to require a bunch of elbow grease just because this had you know all these grooves i had to go through and clean real good and in and around here and just everywhere there's a lot of a lot of cleaning a lot of like uh like oil like down into the material that i i didn't like so getting this top was it's kind of a pain in the ass and there's still some spots where there's dirt caked in and like some corners but it looks good proud of myself but uh that's it for today um tomorrow i'm gonna finish up do a bunch more so catch you guys tomorrow we're back day two here about to clean up a bunch more parts got these these ladies here that don't want to be on camera <laughs> uh, about doing oil change on this one front brakes on the m3 and then i got a table full of mcnasty here i'm about to pull off these seals i got new seals for it um this is like real freaking gross so we'll clean this up real nice already leaking oil everywhere clean out the oil pickup and uh and get the oil pan it's pretty clean there's still some oil down in there the bottom of this i'm pretty sure it's still pretty na yeah it's nasty as hell so that'll get that'll get done what else we got in here no this is gonna get clean i just ordered new uh coolant lines uh feed and return because they're gross and in here only thing left is the turbo itself and then i got a whole nother box of stuff that needs clean so we'll uh get this cleaned up report back show you guys what's good i'm so excited i think i ordered i ordered the ac delete bracket today the coolant uh feed and return and there's still a couple more things randomly that i don't need to buy but i figured i might as well buy since i got an extra week for parts to get here so i'm just making things happen here I'm excited phew excuse the wind once again nice and windy day but i got everything cleaned up pretty decently there's a couple little marks and stuff but this looks 30 million times better than what i did before things nice and cleaned out especially the oil pan the bottom of the oil pan was so gross before because i had that oil leak um turbo still got a couple little spots that could really be cleaned up but it's not too terrible it wasn't all that dirty i didn't want to mess with it too much honestly but got all that done pretty much completed this bin this stuff's gonna go in the trash i'm gonna wipe some of these hoses down when the time comes but spray some of this gunk off Ooh, there she calls well, only got a couple more parts to clean. I'm gonna clean the intake manifold, and I got a uh, some more like accessory stuff. And there's just like should be just those two things left to clean. Um, got a box today. It I ordered it Friday. It came today. Today's Monday for the uh, sway bar bushings. If you guys remember in the last video, I ordered ones that were too small. I sent them back to FCP. Got new ones already. So. I'm going to attempt to pry apart the brackets that hold the uh, sway bar bushings currently. Seems like a pain in the butt. I couldn't get it apart last time, so these new ones are in. These should fit. I'll try and do that. Clean those parts. We'll call it a day for this video. Um, yeah, still got so much things to do. I, I want to clean out the bay a little bit. I just remembered I wanted to coat my downpipe, so I got a guy in Amarillo that can do it. That's like two hours away. I need to find time to get up there. I'm going this weekend to get my motor and stuff, so I'm hoping maybe sometime this week I can get out of work early, run up there. Oh, wait, I still have time. And I need to, dang it, it's too late in the day. I need to call the company and figure out where to send these injectors to. I need to do that, like, first thing tomorrow. But let's do these bushings. So my ass has been over here prying and hammering, trying to get this dang bracket off the sway bar, and... Just nothing happens. Look at this thing. It's kind of ugly looking. Looks like it would, you know, you could stick a flathead in there and just kind of twist and it would pop off. No. So I'm like, all right, go to the internet, go through YouTube, can't find anything. Everyone just upgrades the front sway bar. I don't want to upgrade the front sway bar because it's already pretty thick. Like they put a bigger front sway bar on the front of these cars to induce understeer because that's easier for the average person to handle if something were to happen, you know? And I don't. I, already, I got a big one on the back and you know all that work line stuff i'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty stiff back there i don't know if i'm going to have to upgrade the front but either way there's 80,000 on these bushings i wanted to replace them especially while i have access with the motor out so i wouldn't have to drop the subframe and everything anyway so i finally i was like well can't find anything on youtube i'll look on the forums and i finally found 
this. So uh, you got to drill it out because it's like you can kind of see right there. It's got that little thing. So I'm gonna have to drill this out to uh, to get them in. Kind of sucks. There's no DIY anywhere for this, so you're gonna see this in this video. I'm gonna do it, and then I'm gonna make a video itself. So if anybody else comes across trying to do this upgrade, um, they don't feel as dumb. So I'm gonna go grab a drill, try and rotate these guys on there, because it says to actually like take the sway bar off, but I'm not trying to do all that. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so I tried and tried. Um, no bueno with that. So what I did, I went and looked online to see if I could just find new brackets so I can cut those ones off. And this is what I found. Uh, ECS has this kit right here. Um, you could probably just buy this kit. There you go. You can look that up. Um, anyway, obviously I don't need the bushings because I already have bushings. I didn't want to send them back again to FCP since I already sent the first set back. They weren't the right size. And they're 24 millimeter, by the way, for at least the Golf R. Emailed ECS. I was like, can I just buy the brackets by themselves? And they were like, yeah. So 50 bucks for the brackets plus 50 bucks for the bushing. 100 bucks to do this stupid upgrade. But I probably won't even feel a difference, honestly. But just so you guys know, you can order the brackets if you don't uh, feel like drilling them out or cutting them off. Or well, you're going to have to cut them off or drill them out to take them off the stock bar. But... Um, yeah, so they're on its way, and the next video, hopefully you'll see me installing these bushings along with a lot of other stuff. Got the confirmation today that the motor and the head is ready. So, taking off work Friday, going up to get my shit. So, there's gonna be a, the ball's gonna start rolling here. Videos are gonna be dropping. Actually, well, I'm saving these videos right now until we're at least halfway done with the uh with the build but i got my injectors boxed up ready to go they're going out to california they said it's a 24-hour turnaround so they're going to clean them put new seals on them flow test them give me a chart make sure these direct director injectors are going to be good to go and uh i also just got a box from shop dap it's not what i ordered i don't think so i think this is something else so i'm going to crack this open real quick and i gotta run I only got like 20 minutes to get there so let's crack this open real quick Shout out again to Paul over at Shop Dab. I've spent so much money over there this year, or since this build started. Well, even over like the life of the car, but Paul is the man. Like, and if you guys saw, there was a post today where he's posting like on the site, like for like suspension bolts and this and that. They're gonna start giving you the torque, and um, if they're torque to yield bolts or not, basically one time use bolts, they're gonna add like a bunch of extra information on their website, like the quantity, torque and this that and the third which i think is really freaking dope of them to do i think they're going to add like a a spot in there too where you can see like a, a breakdown of where exactly the part goes so it's easier for us to order things and whatnot so shout out to them this is exactly what i thought it was because this box is heavy so here are some of the gears from uh my transmission well i guess more so like the differential but um some of the not so destroyed parts that were uh, left over from my oh yeah oh so there is some very destroyed parts I don't know what this is um, here's a very and it's the that stinks the bad nasty gear oil look at that let's see if we can get this thing to focus here not on my ugly mug focus on this guy there you go look at that look how freaking <laughs> that is not supposed to be like that Wow, that's kind of crazy. I thought some of these, oh yeah, this gear you can see really got messed up. Look at that. There's like pieces of metal basically like friction welded in there and stuff. That is freaking neat. This stuff got ate up. Dang, that is crazy. If you guys haven't seen all of, here's the other, the other side of that pin. <laughs> this was uh, once together that is freaking crazy wow you can like uh this will focus again here you can see like the stress marks of where the metal started to fail that is freaking wild like those are like legit like if we took a tootsie roll and bent it it would like make those same marks that's crazy there's another pin in here a couple more gears i'm gonna have to wash my hands real good here 
Another one of the pins. Oh wow, this one's even worse. Holy crap. I think that, <laughs> look at that. That is intense. That's awesome of him though. He asked me, he's like, do you want any of these parts back or anything? I was like, yeah, I mean, if there's any like smaller things, you could send me be a cool like uh, desk ornament or something. Maybe I'll give a couple of these gears away along. Like I said, I'm gonna give away three pistons and I guess some of these gears with orders with shirts and stuff um so man make sure you hit that link down there order yourself up a shirt we got masks coming i got a couple pop sockets i can throw in we got stickers coming shirts hoodies all types of stuff we're lining it up um this is all new to me so i don't really know what i'm doing kind of just learning as i go talking to some people who's kind of have a little bit of experience in this business but yeah basically there's like four of these i think and they kind of sat in the square, and then that is cool. That is very, very neat. Shout out to Paul. This shit's freaking cool. I'm going to keep one of these good ones for my desk and probably uh, give the rest away. So, Thanks for watching me ramble and clean things in this video. Um, the next video should start the real exciting shit. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.